I'm from Czech Squadron, and I volunteer. Doom. Eternal. Game of the year, right? Wrong. A timely controversy for Doom Eternal, rightfully so I would say, about adding a rootkit to Doom Eternal for the anti-cheat for the multiplayer that I don't think anyone really gives a hoot about. And even if the multiplayer was at least decent, I don't think anyone would be highly competitive about it. Like, it's not gonna be like esports material like StarCraft or whatever's an esports. I, I don't know what an esport is. And rightfully so, they should be mad about it. Everyone's got their PC security concerns. And it's just a major disappointment it had to be this way because Doom Eternal is a grand game. In my book, it's a 7 out of 10 compared to Doom 16's like 9 out of 10. But it's definitely one of the bigger releases that I actually kind of like this year. Also, it just happened today that they're gonna remove the root kit and uh, well, <laughs> Uh, very timely this video will be. So with that around, <laughs> there has been a new game out and uh, boy, uh, are we gonna talk about it. Uh, just as long as I get this set up. Text Quest, it's got a remake. Yeah, well, okay, you guys are probably too young or may not know about this, but Chex Quest was a real game. Back in the day when Chex had like cereal, you can find a video game in one of these specially marked Chex boxes. And you could play a video game and the video game was the FPS in the Doom engine. That is Doom. And truth be told, it probably is one of the first FPS games I've actually ever played, aside from maybe the South Park 64 game, which um, We'll probably get to that someday. But still, it's just weird to think about, like, Cool Spot and, like, Chester Cheetah were mascots, already developed mascots that have video games. They just had to make a guy up for checks for a video game, and they just made it. But now, there's a HD remake in the Unreal Engine. So let's just go ahead and check out uh, what's in the Chex Quest HD on Steam for free. Well, the game certainly does have that excellent music that Chex Quest starts you off with, even though the music is just a drum beat. Now, just to get it out of the way, the story to Chex Quest HD is practically the same as the first games, where the planet Bezoic is being overrun by the evil aliens from another dimension called the Flemoids. Flemoids. And the thing was, it's a kid's game. You can't really kill the Flemmoids. You can only send them back to their own dimension. So who are you gonna call when an evil race of aliens are about to ruin the nutritional factor of your home planet? Fred Shexter. This guy has a name, but he's not the only one that's gonna go against these Flemmoids. But uh, we'll we'll talk about that later. Right now, let's go ahead and talk about the gameplay. Watch out, Flemmoids! Fred Shexter has arrived. <laughs> This feels so weird to play. Most likely not gonna be over this that we got a Chex Quest remake. Like, just, just out of the blue. Now, of course, the game itself, yes, it definitely is a first-person uh, shooter game. You definitely have your maps filled with enemies, colored keys you gotta find, secret areas with extra supplies, and lore? I mean, I was not expecting a Chex Quest remake game to ever come out, but on that list of things I would not expect from it is definitely not backstory. Like, Count Chocla and Frankenberry are, like, in a dispute? Like, I didn't need that in this game, but here it is anyways! And then, of course, you got your arsenal of Chex Zappers. All the way from the not combat shotgun to the not chain gun to the not plasma rifle. They even got the power sport thing. It's the not chainsaw for Chex Quest, and I love it that it's in here. It's, it's ridiculous. And yeah, Chex Quest HD it has all these neat little things, and it's great, but uh, for the gameplay all around being an FPS, it's a. Uh, it's pretty basic. To put it very generously, like, Chex Quest is very bare bones. It's 
pretty generic. Not like Call of Duty is a generic first person shooter. Like, it's very basic on how first person shootery Chex Quest HD really is. Like, was I really expecting Chex Quest HD to have, like, glory kills? Of course not. Nor was I expecting blasting innovation or RPG skill trees. It's just that they looked at the original Chex Quest Safety game and bro. just said, hey, it ain't broke, so uh, don't change it. However, with Chex Quest HD being, you know, a very fine, simple mid game, it definitely has a lot of flourish over problems, uh, such as the HUD. The first problem that comes arise is the HUD, and I get it, they want you to be in the armor of Fred Chexter. And yeah, creative HUDs like these can be done right, like Metroid Prime, but Metroid Prime got it right because it was transparent, not in the way. And I really wouldn't be complaining about this, but there's no option to turn it off, so you're basically stuck with uh, the screen being blocked 10% all around by the wheat of the checks. Speaking of options, there's not a whole lot of options to go by. Graphical options I can fully understand, a toaster could run this game perhaps. However, there's no option for keybinds and that kind of sucks because I'm like one of those actual freaks that actually prefer to use the F key for using stuff instead of E, like modern gaming has made me think that way now. And it's not like it's a deal breaker at all, I mean there's no deal in it at all, it's a free game. However, the option could be very nicely helped to play the game in a more preferable way, I'd say. But the major disappointment about Chex Quest HD is that it's vastly short, and that's not necessarily the problem, it's just that it's only got the first five levels from the first game, apparently. Like, I do know that they put out, like, two different episodes for Chex Quest, like, after the first one, but that's all they got in this one. They only got the first episode, not the other two. However, the ending does have a lot of sequel baiting, so they might add those levels. Especially when it comes down to the other characters, and, uh, you know, let's talk about those guys. So, as Cypher Chexter, you can play as five different characters, and let's see if we can get their names. My brain is starting to deteriorate at 5am. Weak Knee Chexworth, Dr. Orion, P-R-E-T-Z-L, Knackle96, and Shane the Dread McBread. So you notice how all these characters have like a bag of checks right next to them? That's how you unlock them. Really, to be fair, they have been putting out the codes on their website, so you don't have to go out there and get like a bag of checks mix so you can play as a pretzel robot. But uh, this is the world we live in now. You can get loot boxes from Pringles. Get the hell away from my Pringles. Loverwatch. You also might be thinking, oh, is it like Rise of the Triad where it's like they had different characters but with different attributes, so they all play differently, like a character is slower but they're more powerful. I might be the only one with that example, but hear me out here. Because this game does have different characters, but they all play exactly the same. Only difference is the different endings and different voice lines, and that's it. However, the Chex Quest girl, like Wheatley or something, she's definitely got a butt that just won't quit. And, uh... You've done this on yourselves, General Mills. You've done this yourselves. And I would know that because I did play the game three times over with two different characters, and also I never died in the whole thing, so... Uh, I get it. Chex Quest, the original game, was complete baby game. I know it. Yeah, Chex Quest on, like, ultraviolet mode, like, it'd be pretty hilarious to even have a small challenge in a game like this. Now, to wrap things up, let's go ahead and talk about the presentation of the game. I didn't think it was possible, but I feel stronger. So it's most definitely looking like a Chex Quest game for sure. The Flintboys definitely do have that 3D upgrade from their 2D counterparts. All while Chexter here is, uh, hmm, he, he's kind of got those anime eyes and I kind of don't like that. The voice acting and its humor is pretty fine as it is as well. You're just gonna be cringing to a lot of really bad but kind of funny dad jokes here and there. And my school counselor said I'd never be able to solve a maze. Look at me now. Now that's what I call a sticky key. Really? Voice acting itself, it's pretty fine. Nicholas Lindell has basically captured the essence of Fred Shexter and his cartoon manliness. 
In fact, there's quite a bunch of names here that you might be able to recognize. Most notable role that anyone can really think of is Olivia Olsen voicing Whitney Chexter, who voiced uh, Marceline from Adventure Time. One person that was surprised to see was a voice acting vet, Barry Gordon, who voiced Donatello in the OG TMNT, who voices the professor in the intro. And the final note is definitely the music. Pun intended, fuck it. But it's really just like if they took the original midis from the Chex Quest soundtrack, and then they just like slapped a bunch of VSTs onto it, which is kind of lazy if you ask me, but it still bops. And really, right down to it, that's Chex Quest HD. Very novelty, very short, it's free on Steam, anyone can enjoy it. The small cult following of Chex Quest people that love the game will probably be bonkers about this. It's definitely not super bad or anything, but definitely not super good. Very in the middle of the line, good sort of game. It's definitely a more serviceable game than anything that's coming out on Steam these days. But I'll commend them to make a enjoyable game that maybe a few nerds like me probably only remembered playing when they were like uh, six years old or something. Just, I don't know, okay, kind of wish there was a little bit more to it, like a lot more interactivity. Uh, there's a multiplayer, but apparently that's just local and uh, that, that sucks to say the very least, but if you got friends over, you could probably play that. But it's definitely something to like play it once and then never again. It does make you think with these multi-million dollar food companies, you know, getting hip with the kids to go on the social medias and everything and doing stuff like this like there was a dumb KFC visual novel like what more is there to come is Chester Cheetah's video game series gonna have a revival is there gonna be a Pepsi Man 2 I would definitely play that or are they gonna port Eminem shell shocked on like <laughs> other consoles you could you can see that still got the, the little price tag on it that's uh that that's great I don't know how to end this. It's it's Chex Quest, all right.